Have you ever wondered why magnets stick to your refrigerator or how they make those fun toys dance? Magnets are like tiny magic wands that can pull objects made of certain metals towards them. But how do they do this magical trick? Magnetism starts with something called atoms, which are tiny building blocks that make up everything around us, like your toys, the chair you sit on, and even the air you breathe. Inside these atoms are even tinier particles called electrons. Imagine electrons as little spinning tops. These tops can create a tiny invisible force with their movement. In some metals like iron, nickel, and cobalt, many electrons spin in the same direction. When enough of these electrons align in a metal, they create a magnetic field, which is like an invisible blanket that can pull other metals towards it. Magnets have two ends, the North Pole and the South Pole. It's like having two magic hands. The North Pole wants to stick to the South Pole of another magnet or metal, but if you try to put two North Poles or two South Poles together, they push away from each other. A fun way to think about this is to imagine magnets are friends or foes. When one North Pole meets another South Pole, they are friends and want to stick together. But stick two North Poles together, and they are like two foes trying to run away from each other. Magnets can also be used in many machines like speakers, compasses, and even huge devices like MRI machines and hospitals. Isn't it fascinating how these little metal pieces can do so much? So, next time you play with magnets or watch them work, remember you're witnessing the magic of electron spinning, creating unseen forces, and turning regular metals into magical tools.